Good evening, dear spectators. Today we're going to talk about a very important argument, the recycling. This phenomenon consists in returning partially transformed materials to their original form, and we discover that this method has always been used. So now, let's find out how recycling was used in the past. I give my word to Chiara Fierro and Molina Natella. Thanks, Maya, for your word. Hi everyone, I'm Chiara, and today with Morena I'm going to talk about the history of recycling. Waste recycling is a much used practice in uh, human history. Uh, many years ago, when there were no resources, they say that uh, many waste of materials were melted together for reuse. Uh, that happened in Europe, while in Britain, small cash uh, was used to produce bricks. In the industrialization period, we can say that uh, metals uh, and uh, so many other uh, resistant materials uh, were uh, much research, uh, searched in that period and they had uh, a very high price. Uh, with uh, um, these materials, uh, many objects were made, uh, like for example uh, uh, pots, uh, pens, uh, and so many other objects. Now I'm passing my word to Morena and I'll see you soon. Bye! Thanks, Chiara. Recycling was born in the period of industrialization from simple spoon vendors who went around the street in uh, search of resources uh, to live. For example, in 1939, Britain launched its paper recycling campaign called Paper Search to encourage the recycling of materials and help support the costs of uh, the war effort. Bye, guys! Thanks a lot, Chiara and Morena. Now let's see what are plastic and other materials with Ilaria Lancelotti and Federica Cristiano. The recycled materials are wood, glass, paper and plastic. The recycling of paper and plastic begins with the separated collection. The plastic is transparent, plastic was is separated to type and color, then placed in boxes and taken to factories. Finally, uh, they are changed uh, into new uh, uh, objects. Paper is the most used material for food. Waste is taken to industries, separated by type and packaged. Afterwards, it is taken to paper mills and put in a blender. The fibers dissolve with water and turn into uh, a sheet into mini. The glass comes transported clean and divided by color and the scrap is melted. The waste is a procedement clean and transformed into flex and finally dream. The consequence of plastic is the island of plastic and me and Beniamino Vicinanza are here to talk about it. Hi everyone, I'm Alice Maya and today I'm going to talk about the Pacific Trash Vortex, also known as the Pacific Trash Slick. It's a huge accumulation of floating garbage located in the Pacific Ocean. Its accent is not known precisely. Uh, estimates range from 700,000 km up to more than 10 million km. The American oceanographer uh, Charles Moore believes that the area could contain up to uh, 100 million tons of debris. Now I pass my word to Beniamino. Bye and see you later. As a result of research in conduction with a series of 20 years, researcher Carolyn Lowe has also found in the Atlantic Ocean a high concentration of plastic fragments. She has identified two other possible areas of accumulation of ocean was in the uh, southern hemisphere. The first mapping of uh, plastic is Iceland in the ocean is uh, July 2014. Uh, Let's see what Daniel Sessa and Giorgia Gluso are going to say about the consequences of plastic. Hello everyone, I'm Daniela and today I'm going to talk to you with my friend Giorgia about the consequences of the plastic. The plastic dispersed in the environment are eaten by animals, marine and not, which sometimes also end up in our food. The waste is decomposing turns into microplastics. 
Craig Daniela cast this painter in the movement is eating the animals, Mary and Not, which sometimes also end up on our tables. The waste decomposing is transformed to into microplastic. Vito Marotta and Luis Antonio Murano will give us four simple tips. I'm Anthony Murano and I'm going to talk about the first two R. Uh, reduce and recover. Using less material for a product means deleting the need to dispose of it at the same time and limit pollution. And at the end of the use and reuse of the product when it will be more usable again. Uh, now I will pass the word to Vito Marotta. See you soon. Bye. The other two hours are recycling and reuse. Do recycling is a material that is no longer reusable and is getting retransformed. Reuse is an object that is still not broken and you have to continue to use it. Now I'm giving my word to Davide De Risi and Saverio Zuccolini and they are gonna talk about some types of recycling. Thanks a lot, Maya. Hi everyone, I'm Saverio Zuccolini and today with my friend David De Risi we're going to talk about all different types of recycling work. For example, the recycling of glass. After, after the collection, the glass is treated and reworked, following a three step crushing and morphing matter, fusion at over 1500 degrees, molding or blowing. The paper recycling. The submission of waste paper into raw materials takes place in several stages collection and storage, sorting to separate fibers, pressing, discolorization, polarization, refining, and addition of virgin cellulose. Recycling of aluminum. The recycling of aluminum concerns in particular packaging which undergo separation in the first treatment process in the recycling plant. Waste recycling serves to reuse material that would otherwise end up in landfill. For example, ferrous material. In fact, the ferrous alloys are transformed into material to recycle. The cork can be disposed with organic waste and it can be sent to composting plants that transform it into compost used as natural fertilizer. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Bye! Be green! Be green! Be green. Be green. Be green. Be green. Be green.